Welcome back, Sethling here. We've got an awesome system that'll be really easy for you to add to your existing home or building. Let me show you. First, I can press this, it's a doorbell. If you listen, it makes a little chime throughout all the house. Um, and then the other part is a bunch of buttons in the house that allow you to open the front door uh, from any room. See, so I have a bunch of these buttons. Um, Here's the, the doorbell again. You'll notice the, the doorbell is easily audible throughout the entire house. And the best part about this whole system is that it's dead easy to wire up. This is all of the redstone uh, right here. There's only two torches, uh, a bunch of note blocks, some repeaters. And it fits under your, the walls that you already have in your house. And it's not even visible from above ground. So let me go into a bit more depth of what's going on here. Um, when you press the doorbell, uh, it sends a little signal around the, uh, around the edge of the entire house, and um, along the way it tr triggers several note blocks. So there are note blocks distributed throughout the entire house, which means no matter where you are in the house, you're going to hear it. These buttons, which open the front door, use the same wire as the note blocks. But these ones open the door, whereas the front doorbell don't open the door. So a single wire makes a, makes a circuit all the way around the edge of the house, but only pressing the internal buttons will actually trigger the door to open it. So if your house is, um, is protected by some sort of server mod, this is actually a really good option for, uh, for having a, a nice doorbell and being able to respond to the doorbell from anywhere in your house. Um, so again, this is the, how the redstone wiring works. Uh, basically, the um, the, the button goes right here and, and it sends a signal this way and triggers a note block, signal continues, triggers another note block, signal, signal continues, etc, 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 etc. Let me actually put a button here so that you can see what's going on. Um, so, and then the other part is there's a um, there's a torch right here that will not light up when you push this button, but if you push a button, say, here, that torch does light up. And the way that that works is that um, you have a, a normal signal coming around, sorry, a normal signal coming this way, uh, that's a normal redstone signal, and then the signal that goes around this way is inverted by this torch here. And so what that means is, um, after a delay of seven ticks, uh, this block get, gets powered by the button, um, and after a delay of seven ticks, the block gets depowered from this side. So there's, there's always power, and then also when the button gets depowered, the same sort of thing happens, so that the torch is always off. But from this side, uh, we just have a normal redstone signal that it turns off this inverter, which, which allows this torch to turn on. And if there's a door on top, then it'll allow you to open and close the door. So um, now I'll actually show you how to build the whole thing. In order to do that, I've carved out uh, I've carved out this whole um, area. It's just a one deep trench the whole way around, and this is just right. If you if you already have a building that you're adding this to, this will just be right under the existing walls of your place. Um, first, we're gonna put some uh, redstone right where we want the torch. Uh, sorry, right where we want the button to be. So if we want the button to be here, we're gonna put some redstone there. So um, next thing we're going to do is put a little repeater here just to keep the signal going around clockwise and making sure it doesn't go counterclockwise. Um, then we'll put 15 redstone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now we need to put our first note block. In order to do that, we break these three blocks and then this one as well. And we'll put the note block above the empty space. The reason we do that is because um, a note block above an empty space sounds like a piano, and a note block above something like sandstone is going to sound like a bass drum. So, um, and then we put a repeater here going into that. Oh, the other reason that we bring this down is is uh, down a level instead of having it up on the same level as the redstone, is that. Apparently, if, uh, if there's a block directly above a note block, uh, the, the note block won't make a sound. Okay, so we have a repeater going to this, 
and then some redstone on the other side, so that's going to carry the signal through. Then, okay, so we need 15 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put a note block here. Repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, same thing again. No delay on the repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now here's the one situation you have to watch out for. A repeater going this way with a signal coming in this way isn't going to isn't going to actually propagate the signal. It's not going to keep the signal going along. So we actually need to make this 14 rather than 15. Um, and so, um, so we'll just do the same thing, but around the corner, and we'll have the middle one be where the note block's going to be. Repeater, and the note block will still work just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and this is the last note block. Repeater. Okay, so now we need to do some stuff to get the door to work. This is the only part that actually requires any knowledge of redstone. So, first of all, um, we're going to need to... Uh, let me just figure this out real quick. So, um, we're going to need to put an inverter here. So, when this redstone gets powered, it's going to depower this torch. Okay, that's good. So now, this block here is being powered, and if you see, if we add in the redstone torch here, it turns off immediately because it's being powered. The next thing we need is a couple of repeaters set on a high delay to keep the signal, uh, to make sure that the signal going all the way around this way will take just as long to get to this block as it takes for the signal to get, uh, to just go around this way. So we're going to dig down to and we're going to put some repeaters down, but first we need to count what the delay is going around clockwise. So there's one, one tick, uh, two, so third one here, fourth one, five, six, and then the inverter here is the seventh. So there's seven, a seven tick delay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that should be good. Then we just have to put a block up here. Um, we'll put the door in here. You need to be facing outward when you do this so that the door will be um, flush with this surface here. And so now when we hit the doorbell, the door isn't going to open. But if we put, we can really put this anywhere we want. So let's see. Put a button here. Yep, it opens the door. Basically anywhere that's that's directly above a, a piece of redstone is, is going to open work to open the door. Yep, opens the door. Um, another one here. Yep, looks like it works. Let's do one all the way over here, just to make sure. Yep. So that'll open and close the door from anywhere in the house. Um, now all you need to do is just put a bunch of, um, you know, put the walls up of your house. Uh, so, so that's how you decide how much delay you need here. Um, the, the one last thing that I like to do is I, I don't want them all to be the same note because it's just not as melodically pleasing. So I'm going to do a little little bit of a major chord here. So I'll leave this one, the first one, the same. The second one I'll tune up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The third one I'll tune up by twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the fourth one I'll tune up by seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then now, when we hit this button, it's a nice pretty tone. So that's how you build the nice little doorbell and call buttons. I put a sign above each one in the uh, in this version here. Might be a good idea, or if you know what the, if you know what it's supposed to do, you don't need to put a put a sign. You can also put a, a button, of course, right by the door. Uh, that'll just open the door directly, won't use any of the wiring that's on the ground. Anyway, uh, this is obviously really easy to add to an existing structure, pretty simple, 
Um, really neat that it uses the same same wire to go um, to go all the way around for both the doorbell and all the buttons. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.